Hello healers and health seekers. It's me, Ichoda, healing with medical medium information for almost 36 months now. If you'd like to know what I'm healing from, mast cell activation disorder, dysautonomia, POTS, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, migraines, multiple chemical sensitivity, hypothyroid, PCOS, and a whole list of other diagnoses, the link is in the description box below. The description is in the description box below, and the links will take you to all of the information about my healing journey and what I'm healing from. But today, I am here to make a victory check video, which is my favorite kind of video. It's a little different. I'm filming on my camera phone because my camera is having some technical issues with the SD card. So I actually filmed this video yesterday on the camera, but it did not write to the SD card, and that's an issue. So I'm filming it again today. Okay, victory check videos are my favorite videos to make. I am excited to make a victory check video every time because it means that I have taken a visible step forward in my healing and more symptoms have healed. And this victory check video is about the air conditioner in our RV. Now I know that's a weird thing to have a victory check about, but here's the deal. In our RV, where we are currently, we have two air conditioners, one for the front of the RV and one for the back of the RV. And when we were in the RV before, 18 months, almost two years ago, I was not able to be in the same room with one of the air conditioners running. So instead of running them both to keep the RV cool, or running the one that was in the room with us because that would be the most efficient, we had to run the one that was in the separate room. And when it was on, I could not even be in the same room. Not even for five minutes. I would get a migraine, I would feel it in my teeth, it would feel terrible and I just couldn't I couldn't be in the same room with our uh, with the air conditioner on and that was hard because it gets really hot in an RV when there's any kind of warm weather any kind of summer and you know air conditioners help take down the humidity as well so it, it was really hard but I, I just couldn't deal with it so we couldn't really we had a, if we slept, the air conditioner had to be on in a room separately from when I slept and everything because it would just cause me great pain. So, fast forward to now. It is summer, <laughs> at least weather-wise. And in the RV, here we are. And not only have I been able to be in the same room as the air conditioner for more than five minutes, I've actually been able to sleep in the same room with the air conditioner on all night long and no pain, and no headache, and no overload, and nothing. And that is really exciting. Now, I'm not entirely sure what about the air conditioner caused headaches and caused me to feel it in my teeth. I don't know if it's the motor, or if there's some kind of EMFs coming from it that are, you know, strong. Like, this RV is from the year 2000, and that's how old the air conditioner probably is. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if the air conditioners are newer than that, but so they do make a lot of noise when they run, almost like a window unit air conditioner, at least the way I remember them. They do make a lot of noise when they run, and so I don't know, whatever it is about, maybe it's the compressor or, I'm not sure, but whatever it is, it's gone and it doesn't happen anymore. and. That means we can have an air-conditioned RV, and I can be comfortable, and it's okay, and it doesn't affect me. And that is so super exciting, because the way I see it, it's like my nervous system's a big bucket. And normally, people have room in their bucket, so they don't just, it doesn't just overflow all the time. But when, with my particular set of illnesses, multiple chemical sensitivity, and all the other sensitivities that I had, it's like my bucket was always just right at the top, and so any little thing goes in the bucket, it overflows, it overflows, it overflows. And then I have symptoms. And I feel like the bucket is not quite as full to the top anymore, and so even with the other stresses of being in the RV and stuff like that, because my liver has been able to process more through it and do its job more, and it has healed a significant amount, I think that is why the bucket doesn't just overflow, overflow, overflow anymore. And I'm really excited about that. I'm further in my healing. So what about you? What are your victory checks lately? Have you had any? 
and you're healing, what are your favorite ones? It's always exciting to find a new victory check no matter where you are in this journey because healing is a journey. It is a process. It does take time. And sometimes it's really easy to forget what symptoms we had and how bad it was. And sometimes it's easy to overlook like how much we've improved if we're not specifically keeping track like in a journal or a spreadsheet or something and checking in with specific symptoms. It's easy to forget symptoms that we've had and I love to do these victory check videos because it just helps me see how far I've come because I don't it's like I might not notice a specific physical difference but being able to stand under the air conditioner and, and even sleep under the air conditioner with it on is a pretty big difference for me that's pretty phenomenal and it surprised me it really surprised me because I thought like you know when we first got in the RV and tried to use the air conditioner I thought oh I should be careful and stay away from it but then I discovered that I was able to stand under it for a little while like when I was folding laundry and I was like well that was kind of a while I wonder you know and then a couple times I took a nap when it was on and then it just kind of went from there like I just kind of did a little more and a little more and I discovered oh I was able to just be with it on for indefinite periods of time and not be affected and that's just so exciting for me so tell me in the comments below what your victory checks have been and have you had any new ones lately that surprised you as always I thank you so much for coming along with me on this my healing journey and continuing to share yours with me I love you so much my healers and health seekers I really appreciate you Remember to stay curious. So many blessings on your continued healing journey, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.